So this is the Swampy Plains Creek Road which takes you all the way up to Cabramurra and it's only been reopened since the fires, since the bushfires went through uh, last year at uh, the summer of 2020, 2019, 2020. And this has just been open January 2021. Pass through two dams, this first one, the Ch Chuma Dam, and the second one, the Chuma Pond Dam, which is a little bit later. So um, this is the Tuma Dam, and a little later you'll see the Chuma Pond Dam. this road besides the fact that the surface is pretty good and there's heaps and heaps of twisties along the way. It's about 50 kilometres on the road that leaves Cancoban through to um, Cabramurra. But what I like about this road is the different sceneries and I call it like section one, section two, section three. And you're seeing different sceneries in each of these sections. But one of the things you'll notice from a bit of this footage is how the bushfires were so hot that in most, in many cases here, the trees have had no regrowth. And that's not a real common sight. It is down in the snowy region, but what a lot of people are saying is how the regrowth on, on the burnt trees and other areas is so dominant. And you're seeing the greens look so pretty. Well, this area is quite amazing if you just look at that burnt site right there now. This part of the road is where you can see winding down to the Chumut Pond Dam. Um, one of the things about this road is, and a lot of the roads which are based around mountains go up and down hills, this one is good in each direction. So it doesn't matter if you're heading like from Cancoban side out to Cabramurra or reverse Cabramurra back to Cancoban. It's a good ride in both directions. riding across the dam wall. And we'll finish off with a photo looking back at the Cabramurra, the town of Cabramurra, the highest town in Australia.